เสียสอดเออ If you have that much of an appetite, bringing this along well as well was a, the right idea. Yes. Da, you are all feeling bread, just like I promised. Hey, Husky, this is why I'm gonna say Sylvie's gonna turn into a mellow bread soon before we get the whole route, Husky. Holy shit! It looks mad. Yeah, it does look mad. Give me the Kobe you know, stick. Remember, Mello, you know the Kobe game? Give me that. Oh, Parker, what do you think something? of the bread? It looks average. I heard what what? You know, if it was me, I'd ask her to bring me more food, huh? It's a tea party. It, I it's meant like... for later. <laughs> you should have luck. I, I've never heard yeah. anyone. I've, I've never heard anyone say, "Can I get a doggy bag for the tea party?" <laughs> I've yeah, never yeah. heard of it either. Hey, the melon bread she mentioned yesterday. I mean, she pro she probably hook us up with food if we asked. Uh huh. Hey, given my current excitement, I gr I am genuinely grateful. I'm not. Uh, hey, let's give it a taste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, gross. Mm. Hey, tasty, isn't it? Isn't it? What in the world even is melon bread? It's bread that tastes like a melon. Maybe it's a pastry? I'm not sure. I hear Parker typing. No, uh, no, that is actually melon pan. is a type of Japanese sweet bun that is known across the, uh, the country and widely popular throughout China and Taiwan. The sweet bun is made with an enriched dough covered in a thin layer of crisp cookie dough. But though, you're it right. as, uh, though it, though it, appear, it appears to resemble melon, such as a rock melon. I was going to say, Azoth, I didn't mean to enter my pocket. You are correct. What does melon bread right, taste then. like? It's a right, then, oh, then. typically melon bread does not taste like melon, but rather sweet cookies and buttery bread. I don't like it. So it does not taste like melon. It is only called a melon bread because it looks like a, looks like a rock melon. It would look like a rock melon. They don't put the fucking slashes in it. That's just me. Yeah, looks looks like you can play tic tac toe on that. Yeah, it, it's like they're trying to emulate it as much. I can I can see it. Yeah, I can see it too. But yeah. Oh, oh I, I forgot. Rock melons are just cantaloupes. You figured it out, guys. <laughs> um, I've already known that. It's just I just remember. It's just it was just reminded to me today. So oh. I type in rock melon. It's just cantaloupe. Can you believe it? The, the Americans call rock melons cantaloupes. Can you believe Boy, it? Boy, at least we're not hey, getting short it? in mathematics class. <laughs> can you believe they call it a flicky dicky wingle donger a, a fucking light switch? <laughs> I remember that fucking short. I like your shorts. You actually put you actually put funny things in it. <laughs> Oh, I mean, well, thank you so much. But I was talking about, <laughs> I was actually referencing a short. I thought, you were, I thought you put a British joke one of ours before. I think I uh, might have at some point. I think Parker did. I love how Chris and Mello said, we finished doing the 10 cards, me. Uh, might as well put up the, like, 50 videos worth of backlog I have ready. The Husky's trying to make uh, 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 Mello and I's hands. We're gonna die. Our hands gonna die. I'm, get, I'm I'm speed running their way to carpal tunnel. Yeah. I'm I'm just gonna put that fuck put that short in the VC. Chris, I'm probably not I'm first. probably not gonna upload videos for a bit because I got an ex I gotta work on an exam. School walk. School walk. <coughs> Mel and I get a break. Cause Husky's eh, like, I might push this. Oh, Husky's like, I'm gonna put the school walk so Mel and Chris can uh, do the walk. Oh, Steven. 
Hey, I was expecting plain, ordinary melon bread. Hey, it tastes like it was made out of cookie batter. Uh, with, a, with a touch heavier than what was off the shelf variety used. It did leave an, ex an extravagant impression with coarse sugar sprinkled over it and all, but. Motherfucker. Hey, loaves like these are fairly common. That sounds like a you probably. <laughs> The premium melon bread fab uh, had most fab. passed. Really fab, man. Bad. Yeah. The variety also wasn't really my cup of tea. Cookie batter was too heavy. Not really suited for melon bread, you could say. Oh, it's like a glorified sugar cookie. Yeah, that's essentially what, mm -hmm. what these are. Aww. Aww. That just shows how gourmet of a nation Japan is. I can hardly believe something this advanced is considered ordinary. Wow, he's like, you can argue that for almost you can argue that for almost any culture. Like macaroons is fancy to a lot of us, but in France it's considered ordinary. Yeah. yeah. What are you saying, Chris? Age of Mello blames you. What I what uh, I blame you for? You know what you did. Age of almost gave almost got Mello killed at doing his game. That's what Mello. I hope in the middle of the night you walk on around a corner of a door and hit your toe right on the corner of the door frame. Yeah, let's see. He wants to blame yeah. you for giving, giving me shit. I heard you blaming me before, so oh, yeah, you were blaming him before. Oh, 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 how long ago was it yesterday? You complained to me about a game sometimes, so this is all your fault. Oh, yeah, that's that true. That means it's weeks ago. That doesn't count, Husky. It still counts. Husky would say it still counts if it's Does. a week ago. See? Stop holding a fucking grudge. I see. Husky has it's gone. Known bread that rare outside of Japan? I was going to say, Husky always holds grudges. Dude, dude, I've, dude, I've held grudges for years against people. Exactly. I was going to say that. <laughs> you stole my cord. Good job. It's like, some people, honest to God, deserve it. Yeah, I feel you. Hey, hey, melon bread did seem to be a piece of Japanese culture. Her face looks derpy in this right here. It, it does. Yeah. The culture is so damn good. Hey, okay, Sylvie mentioned that she had only just come to Japan in April, so premium melon bread like that might be new to her. Yes. I had some when I came to Japan a long time ago, and the flavor of this melon bread is the thing I remember most. When I discovered it had evolved so much in 10 years, I was touched. No, it's hot. No, 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 no. Don't think that way. I'm not thinking. I'm not thinking anything. Don't put words in my mouth. <laughs> no. No, Mello. Well, well, okay, maybe a thought did cross my mind. See? But I wasn't going to say anything. See, the thought was there. Husky said, see, the thought. <laughs> well, seriously, but seriously, Go the ahead. way she worded it, though, I mean, like, come on. Huh? I, I would not think of that way. Okay, oh, no. X, to, X to doubt. Mm. So, you've been, you've been to Japan before? Uh, what's he? What's he? What was Mel mumbling? How do we get to a wholesome tea party with Sylvie to Azov going sus off the wall again? How do we get? Because here? because Husky's uh, pulling up that bullshit. I said no. Don't think that way. You just confirmed what I was thinking. <laughs> you know, stay the. You know what? Stay the fuck out of my mind, though. <laughs> to be the gaslighting uh, is beginning. It is. And we didn't even get to 12 o'clock yet, Husky. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Yes. Oh. Oh. Not you, Dad. 
Pet log. Yes, didn't I tell you back at the concert hall? Oh. She wasn't explicit about it, but I guess hey, she had hinted at it off and on since we first met. Odalege and Japan are very friendly terms, and any member of royalty would have visited here once. As for me, I came to this city ten years ago and would often come to this very lake. This is the melon bread uh, I ate uh, with a friend I made back then. See how incredibly large the loaves you can buy with 100 yen are? We split and ate it together. I fun, come on. I hit it. It was so delicious. Sophie said in a reminiscent tone. A, a slightly melancholic expression across this beautiful princess's face, who looked back nostalgically on an, on older times. Hey, I wish I could burn this rare sight in my a to my retinas, but something about what she was said bothered me too much to keep focused. Ten years ago? To be honest, <clears throat> my attending Noble Academy wasn't due to the institution itself. I just enjoyed that it was near the lake. Ten years ago, Parker started college. Yeah. Ten years ago, Husky thinks we still bully hmm. people. Probably dead. <laughs> we never did. Did you graduate high school in 2014? Who? I no, me. I thought, I thought Chris Mel said they graduated school like 2014 or something. No, was it was me. 2000. Oh, that was Parker. That was me who graduated oh. that year. Yeah, oh. that was Parker you were thinking of. Us is 2010 to 9. And that's not bad. Well, I'll say uh, Azothel is 1975. Yeah. <laughs> wasn't even. Why wasn't he even conceived at that time? So. Stop the cap. Princess should be let a should do a sure to lead ex, a exhilarating lifestyles. <laughs> I heard the school was exceptionally difficult to get into, so I studied like my life depended on it. Though she would need a certain degree of intelligence as a member of royalty. I did think it would take intense study for a school of noble academy these caliber. Hey, but I see. Hey, Sylvie came to the city a decade ago. She played by this lake. Your memories are coming back together. Oh my yeah, goodness. They are. Oh my god, they're playing the puzzle piece to bring back Plot the developed. memories. <laughs> Plot development, I love it. <laughs> hey, just like I had. Back a hundred million years ago. Yeah. But now. Nah. It, it would be hasty to assume we uh, we met somewhere just for that reason. Hey, this lake is cra was crazy huge. There's hey, there's no telling where on the shore she might, she may have played. Hey. Yes, Chris's oh. favorite thing. What do you think of Noble Academy? Right. Hello. Hello. You heard it. She did the Legend of Zelda again. She was going to try to become Navi. God damn it. We need to change. Okay, one of these episodes when Husky does the thumbnail. 
Put, put a Navi face, y'all. Put a Navi face right there on this episode. Put a Navi right next to us. Listen. He's like that he's off, yo. I don't want to listen. Thumbnail right next to it. Yo, Husky say he doesn't want to listen, but they're too damn bad. That's too damn bad. And she'll harass the shit out of you. I get enough harassment from people as it is. Yeah, you do. Find the bomb, Chris, though. Parker, don't you agree it's deserved? You did yeah. all of your. Hold on, I did all your work, Kosky, of the end screens. And this is how I get treated for this. <laughs> you know what the simping crimes you did? You know what you did. So, hey. so, we're gonna, so we're gonna smell the simping crimes, but we don't give that to Azoth? Azoth gets enough punishment as it is. Parker, uh, not Parker, Azoth, I can't believe he tried throwing you under the bus like that. Ace, I thought well, well, remember Ace, I'm with fellow Sim, you're a fellow Sim too, so that's what I was well, trying to do. Well, he failed regardless, so meh. Eh, eh, don't worry. It's, I always fail like the Dallas Cowboys do in the playoffs. Good. Husky's like, God damn it, Chris. Oh, I said <laughs> good. Said. No, because Husky wanted to say, but I'm not giving him the satisfaction. Oh, I'm enjoying the memes on Instagram about the Cowboys. They're fine. Good. Good. Yeehaw. You can answer after you finish eating. Those jam-packed cheeks of yours look like a squirrel, son. She took the topic in another direction Ash. before hearing before hearing the answer to what had intrigued her. I have to, I'm gonna get a drink real quick. My throat's dry. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Uh... Wow. Thought it was appropriate. I've returned with Arizona iced tea. Oscar, you missed my age nice, off. Nice. Like, what do you say? He played. He played the uh, Japanese thing, waiting for you to come back. Doesn't surprise me. <laughs> I, I thought it seemed appropriate at the time. Mm -hmm. I had to walk from here oh. to my refrigerator. Eat. Eat. Here, read this one. Yes. I clicked twice. Your life changed drastically due to my whims. Huh? After thinking it over, I wanted to get you your thoughts on the subject. My thought. Especially since the academy at Noble Academy seems so difficult. Huh? The academy itself ain't difficult. Ninety percent of the population here is. Huh? Azoth loves these students, guys. Don't let them fool you. Oh, yeah. Az Azoth's like, one of these days when if he gets to that school, Husky, he's going to be a delinquent over there. Be the Azoth yeah, would be one really... of the, the students that makes fun of the poor guy. Exactly. You know, I don't give a fuck about these kids anymore. Hey, you do. No, I don't. Parker, I think he's lying. It takes too a... much energy to get mad, so I don't give a fuck anymore. If you truly didn't, if you, if, you, if you truly didn't care, you wouldn't mention them. Possibly, but it also um, doesn't do me any uh, favors on my stress level either. So you're always stressed. I want you to play Cuphead someday. I want to see your stress levels on that game. Ooh. Don't worry, Azoth, we're not playing Cuphead anymore. We retired. Yeah, after I broke a controller, it's that game's not for me anymore. Yep, Mel and I got to. Uh, yep, 48 hours, Chris going back to Persona, and, we, and go start recording, baby. And I'm not always stressed out. You know, actually, if I was always stressed out, I probably would have got smacked with the shingles, uh. Lot, a lot earlier. Hmm? Well, you already got it a lot earlier than normal. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, it goes back. Uh, 
goes back to the void uh, for a while after this. You mean goes back in dormancy? This could be a good yes. Of the day. I wash my food down with tea. Hey, well, I guess the schoolwork, the schoolwork is a bit insane. Is a little insane. Well, Parker, I found something that is also. But juicy fruit. He's finding a No, I'm staring directly at your icon in utter disgust. That's what the spirits are gonna do to you when you come to my house. Yeah, I know. Yeah. They already gave my dad the look of what the fuck when he was sleeping in the chair. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There was a toy going off in, in the living room overnight that my mom had to get up to, to uh, see if there what was going on. One of my niece's toys was running on it last night. Of course it was. They're back. After, after two days of classes, I realized that I didn't know much about anything. Parker, they're back. I know. I like I told him I, I told him you want to say hi not to worry though I won't be held back mostly due to all the tests being multiple choice it won't happen as long uh, as I use my intuition to, uh, to make this decent choices anyways unless they make the word choice on the answer is very close and similar yeah. I do think it would be better if you studied as well. If you learn the material, you won't need to study. <laughs> Does that mean you have no at the academy itself? Boy, answer her truthfully. Yeah. And enlighten that? her, you dumb fuck. The Legend of Zelda, I think I heard it. Unless I'm wrong. <laughs> the fuck are you all on? I didn't hear anything. Oh, I was trying to imitate the Legend of Zelda for the stuff. I heard, I, heard, I, heard, I, heard, I heard like a high-pitched noise in the background. I thought I thought you were playing a sound you sure? Effect. Yeah. I didn't play anything. Wasn't me either. Maybe it's a ghost talking. I don't know. I think it Sam is, Donald. my man. Sam Donald? I think we're all going a little insane because I thought I heard my brother laugh behind my back when I was at the mall turned around and no one, no one was there. Well, there's one old guy and he pulled out his phone, so it was probably his... his I, phone, I, his, sent uh... them, I sent them your way, Parker. If the ghost is copying my brother's voice, that's not a ghost. Yeah, it's a demonic spirit. Yeah, true. I've seen videos of where someone else's voice is being projected saying, hey, come here. Like it's their own fucking voice. You know, you know, what, else, you know, you know what other videos have demonic voices? Our visual novel does. Yeah, it does. You know, I was, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. You know, I was talking to a, a port developer about our porting our game and I, I actually declined them after a comment they gave me. I didn't appreciate their comment. Oh, really? Before even playtesting our game, they looked at the game, the, like the artwork for the title screen that's it's public, and said, I think your game might be too etchy for our for our studio, but if you want to give me a key, go for it. And I just said, I, I told them straight up through the email, says, if you would have taken the 10 seconds to look at the Steam page through the screenshots and videos, you could tell there's no etchy scenes in this game. Yeah. And I just blocked his email so I won't get a response. I'm not if you're unwilling to take thirty seconds, which in business you if you someone's proposing business to you, you at least take the fucking effort to look. Yes. Like you didn't even yeah. bother to look. He just took an assumption based off the title screen. Yeah, that doesn't make sense in my opinion. Cause that that's that's just like lazy uh business walk. Oh, it pissed me off that he made that assumption, especially as a business person. It's like no wonder why you only got one thousand fucking followers on Twitter. He's 
Jack. Yeah. It appears that Sylvie was unaware of my social status in class or the less than stellar atmosphere at the dorm. Oh, Chris. Oh. In which case, that's right. Better stop complaining. Hey, it would only make her worry. You're, dude, you're retarded. He might not want to inconvenience her. Yeah, he doesn't want to. Yeah, get yeah, yeah. You, you, you ever thought of sparing someone else's feelings? Hey, he's all well, well, she could all. Well, she could help him a lot more than, and she could maybe even pull some sway, huh? He doesn't yeah, want but that. The thing. Yeah, he doesn't but no, want but I, that. But I understand but... what he's going through because I don't want to trouble people either. Yep. And all that would do is just trouble her. Yep. And then it's going to cause drama. Yeah, exactly. I did plenty of research, and graduating from Noble Academy is apparently enough to find some ridiculously lucrative employment in the future. Apparently, one of my dork friends is playing Digimon Survive. Oh, wonderful. Oh, wow. Of course, the furry guy mm -hmm. plays Digimon. We've got a saint over yeah. there. There it is. <laughs> okay, I played that one. <laughs> hey. Hello. Um, this Hello. is why I'm letting people on YouTube to know. This is why I call Sylvie Navi when Mel and I first played it. She is Navi. She <laughs> can't tell me otherwise. I'm so grateful to you, Sylvie. If I work my hardest and avoid being held back, I've become a steady civil servant down the line. Sir? I see. Pussy. No. Oh, damn. I don't think that one got played. Oh, no, damn. Well, let me turn it over just a bit more. Still, the fact that this fucker wants to suffer in silence, though, I'll give him credit for that. Damn, it's so quiet. I can smell you. I hear it. I can smell you. Just, just the quiet. I can smell you. <laughs> Not that I particularly wanted to be a civil servant. Still, I, it was true. I was now blessed with a better than a, a, a with better than an idle lifestyle. Hey, yes. I was wondering what was taking you so long. Sorry. I, I I wasn't fade, faded into the twilight, but shining brightly on my own. Hey, this was supposed a yeah supposed to be a wonderful time, which benefited my future, a, a, a fortunate environment, if you will. It was my golden time. Hey, that's why I'm grateful for, uh, to you, Sylvie. <laughs> hey, being thanked directly must, they must have made her shy as an uneasy looking grin appeared on her face. Uh. I've never seen this face before. How cute. Oh, right. There was something I wanted to ask you. Azoth. Just... Yes, finally, you're going to say something? Azoth's like... Hmm? Why did you invite me to this school? <clears throat> uh, well... Azoth be like Husky. He's like, God damn it! <laughs> I know it, it was because I was in trouble, but having me transferred here out of nowhere was a little unreasonable. 
Dude. Parker, I... tell Azoth be nice. Be nice. This... All I hear is moaning and bitching from this dude right now. Yeah, you wanted him to moan and bitch about his about his predicament. Now you're going back on it. Jesus. Make <laughs> oh up your damn God. mind. <laughs> Hold on. Damn, damn, if, damn if I do, damn if I don't, but... To, Hold on. It doesn't seem, it doesn't... Azoth be like, like, God, the Azoth is like, come on, dude, say something to her. Also, Azoth, come on. stop bitching and moaning. <laughs> yeah, come on, complain about, complain about, about your your current living state. Complain about it later. Oh, stop complaining. Stop complaining. Exactly. Because this is my look on it, and I'm like, if you're not gonna complain and bitch to her, I don't want to hear or see you complaining or bitching at all. Then. Huh? Oh my goodness. By, by that means that. If that means not and not at all, he would have never complained to bitch about his situation in the first place. He's bitching about it in his mind, and that still counts. Bruh. I I am a I sh assumed it was a sort of idea for a princess, one detached from the world, might come up with. But our recent interactions over the last couple of days would suggest that she wasn't without common sense. That was the truth. Even in that situation, she could have hypothetically used security footage in town to prove my innocence, or a number of other methods. Oh, can't enter. Come on. Go ahead. And most on. notably, I was going to say husky. Yes, he did. You hit enter. And most notably, you also seem to be aware that this. It was more, it was on your own whim, too. Mm -hmm. She made it pretty clear earlier. <laughs> well, damn, bless you. This, tran uh, uh, this transfer was 100% for my benefit. It was partially for her own validation. For not validation, bullet, bullet A, whatever. And if that were the case, I want to know why. Volition. Volition, that's what it was. Fuck. Um, well. Well, why? So it gave me a strained, embarrassed smile. Golden time, I guess. Okay, you're banned. <laughs> and I'm. Yep. <laughs> huh? Ah. Uh. What? What? <laughs> hey, that was an unexpected answer. Hey, not only had I not expect that sort of reply. Oh, I definitely hadn't expect her to use that phrase I had just heard earlier today. As far as I'm concerned, both Japan and this city are my golden time. I had so much fun when I was little. There was dissent in my country at the time, so I came to Japan as a sort of vacation. I hit enter. At the, that time I spent with the friends I made here, I'll never forget that golden time for as long as I live. Hmm. You know, I rolled into Noble Cavity thinking history would repeat itself, but I, but it was totally boring. Oh, you know what else? You know what else is boring? What? what? I don't know. Need to entertain myself somehow. <laughs> <laughs> no lines means no entertainment, which makes sense. Yes. An angry yeah. boy. Parker, he's pulling at you when you did. Oh, no, uh, I'm actually looking at coins. 
I was gonna say <laughs> he's pulling a U pocket when we played our Japanese uh, school. school but here's the, but here's the thing: I actively pay attention. Parker half the time <laughs> doesn't. <laughs> I at least he interact. Up sourly, sourly. <laughs> no, you're tr no, you're right there. I zone out way too much. <laughs> it's probably because my meds just keep, keep drying up by the time we start recording. That's for extra. I studied it. I what? studied and studied. I said ask I for extras. And... Eh, I'm good. Go ahead, Ajon. Studied and studied some more with no time to play or enjoy outside activities. Because I'd actually like to sleep at night. Of course, yet everyone in school is so distant. The only ones who would be friends with me were Reina and a select other a few. Oh, so she's getting the cold shoulder, too. Damn. Well, because she honestly can't find true friends. But a lot of people probably just want to be your friend for the social status. That's because, uh, yeah, because they, yeah. exactly. I was going to say. I, 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 I laughed the other day because... I was I drove by and my father was my father and I drove by someone getting pulled over and it was my friend who was a police officer. Saw my dad's truck wave to us as he was giving someone a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> That's the perks of knowing someone since preschool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah it is. Sometimes he honks it he pulls the fucking siren when I'm walking the dog knowing it makes me jump. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, what do you expect when you're just walking on the road and you hear a police siren like five feet from you? Well, yeah, I understand it, jump, but it's still funny. Oh, yeah, especially yeah. when, especially when he has his canine in the truck because he has a canine now. Nice. Yeah, because there was a legal dispute in my town over the other one, believe it or not. Really? Because the old officer that we had, we had a canine, left for another town, but you have the right to leave, right? Yeah. The town never put in his contract that the dog was property of the town, so we just took the canine with him to the other town. Oh my god. So when I was told with this new canine, I asked him outright, like, did they put a clause in your uh, employment contract that if you decide to leave this town or go to somewhere else, uh, that they gotta give the dog back to the town? And he said, yes, they learned their lesson this time. Yeah. Because literally what happened, the guy moved to another to another town because you know it was a better job opportunity he just took the dog yeah and the town was like hey i got that back and he said nothing in my contract states i have to <laughs> so legally they couldn't get the dog back it was never stated whose it was <coughs> the town probably just thought it wasn't worth the loss <laughs> yeah yeah everyone's here super it's being super considerate of you They were all high-class men and women. It made sense why they would, it would be reserved around someone uh, of a higher status than themselves. A Kiku, a Frau without a place in class, would be exact for that exact reason, as their oddly attentive behavior was due to their family's high, higher-ranking status at the academy. A common like myself didn't really care about status or rank, which is why I was in a league of my own. It hasn't always been that way. I did stand out a little due to my blonde hair, but Japanese children would often tag along and play with me. Children didn't seem to be sensitive to such matters. This takes me back. I wonder what those kids are doing these days. Give me his mom, I don't know. But Doku kun and Yoshima chan, there aren't too many I still remember the names of, but. That's Yoshimi. Hmm? Yoshimi. Yeah. Yo Yoshima's that fucking door. He still subscribed right. to us. you think he would block us by now. Uh, I wish I could see Ichi too. Ichi? 
A friend I was especially close to, he took good care of me, and he often worried about my poor Japanese comprehension. He was also the one who introduced me to melon bread. He once said I couldn't speak very well because my belly wasn't full and had me eat it. He, he was mystified when I still couldn't speak the language very well, even after I was full. Not the brightest kid, huh? That's probably you, dumbass. So about that. He's not the smartest, Azoth. Yeah, I give him three to five business days to figure it out. Sound familiar? Yep. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's what I get though. Uh huh. 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 Uh I've been so depressed. If I could eat the melon bread from my memories, then I thought something special might happen. And then... You don't know anything about anything anymore. You don't know what you're talking about when you talk to me. Why won't you just shut up and keep your opinions to yourself? No one wants to hear that it's true. Why don't you go kill yourself? La, 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 la.